and the, to have the ball out here in your glove, squeeze it and have that happen out in front. Now I want, to, I want everybody to watch this. What is the, I'm going to pull this back. Let's look at Clemens and Maddox and Joe. And it's a slightly, this is 30 frames a second, so we got, we're in between frames here. We're in between frames a little bit. So we didn't get this frame. Uh, that's a little bit before these guys. And, but even, let's just leave it at that, Joe. Where do you see your glove? And where is their two gloves at? I see my glove on it at that point, but at the next frame, I don't see it. Yeah, I know it, but look where their two gloves are. Where are their front, where are their gloves at? Out here. Way out in front of their front knee. So here's why that's important. When they go to rotate, here's what happens. They rotate here. Where do you rotate? There. Right? So now here's the bad news. They get to accelerate the ball all the way here. You really accelerate it this much. So already your velo is not as, it cannot ever be as good as theirs, just based on you get to accelerate about that much and they get to accelerate about that much. Second thing is, you're releasing the ball from here, they're releasing the ball from there. Now, both things considered, right, which one's closer to play? If you both threw it, if all three of you threw it 90, you threw it 90 here and they threw it 90 there to the hitter, which one looks Way faster. That one. Right? Right? It gets worse. This, where's my breaking ball going to be? It's going to be hard to throw a breaking ball there all the time. But if I can get this out in front, there's where I throw the breaking ball. Okay, so all things are better. But what about D cell? This is going to be better out in front. So your glove side is the issue. This is why you came here. Right? You could right now go get your connection ball, work on your glove side, and I'll see you next December. Because other than that, you're really good, right? But your glove side is not. Your glove side is really premature. Not a little premature. It's really premature. Okay? Have you been taught to tuck your glove hard? Yes, unfortunately. Yeah, when you were little? Yeah. Okay, so here's the fix. You squeeze that. Remember that picture of Clemens and, and Ryan? you got to squeeze that thing, and you got to have that happen out here. Now, this should make sense to you, too. If I'm a boxer, and I'm boxing him, right? <laughs> and I go like this, that might tick him off. But if I go like this, it doesn't tick him off anymore. He wakes up as Tuesday. <laughs> because now I'm hitting him, not with my hand, I'm hitting him with what? Trunk, spine, glute, right? So that's, that's how they box. It's jab, jab, right? You can get hit a hundred times like that and you'll be all right. You get hit one time like that, that's a horse of another color, right? You're not getting hit just with the arms extended. It's the same thing. You're now going to be doing this instead of that. Okay? So <clears throat> let's go on. Let's move on. Okay, so we go through your sheet. Let's see about your launch. <coughs> All right, launch back there. It's not too bad. It's still marginal. Marginal launch. Now let's see if we can find out. So here's what a late launch is. One more time. I'll pull this up here. See the see the squeezing of the glove, Joe? There's where that ball needs to be. Right? And I want you to end up just like no one there whether it's in the in, in your face, right out in front there. Alright. So there's late launch. All right. Now we're going to look at D cell. Let's see if Joe <coughs> looks like this on his D cell. How'd you D cell last time? Uh, you don't remember. It's all foggy. Yeah. <laughs> I, w I wasn't very clear, was I? No. Right. <laughs> well, I'm going to be crystal clear on this one. Okay. All right. There is some pronation going on there. Good. So that's obvious pronation. Good. All right. Now what we're trying to avoid is this. Now on all three of these guys, all four of these guys, now look at it. Look at it. Are their arms flexed or straight at that point? 
Do they have some flexion in there or is their arm absolutely straight? Flex. All right, is the ball gone? Okay, now here's what you have to know. If you're going to be a healthy decelerator, the arm never gets back to straight. So let me show you what that looks like. Now, look at their arms. See it? Now look what's not supposed to happen. See that? That's straight. Now if you ever wonder why I put, I see that ball that I put in Nolan Ryan, there's a ball. I leave the ball in there. I could crop that out. But the reason I leave the ball in there, so you know I'm comparing apples to apples, right? That's why I leave it in there, all right? So let's see if Ojo keeps it flexed or does he straighten it out? He keeps that flex. See, there's still flexion. And some of you are like, well, that's pretty straight. People, when it's straight, it is straight. So if you have any flexion at all, here's what you can remember. Any flexion at all, the muscle takes over the arm. When the arm is straight, muscles are no longer in control and the soft tissue, connective tissue become in charge. That means he's still. Now, he's not out of the woods yet, right? A lot of times guys are pretty good there, but then the arm on the next frame goes absolutely straight. We'll see. You don't have any push or your shoulder issue, right? So we'll see. Some impingement, though. Oh. I didn't choose that word, did I, impingement? <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is the way it always works, people. Impingement. Show me where you're impinged. Right. Okay. That's the fun side. Right. I like that word. You like that word, don't you? No. No, you don't like the word impingement. Right. Ate it. You ate it. Right. And that's pretty straight. So your arm does straighten out. And I would make that be a caution. But that's not your pain on your anterior shoulder. That's your glove again. Your glove is causing all your pain. Congratulations. Your, your throwing arm is going to be so ticked when you get home tonight and go to sleep. It's going to, it's going to be hitting your other side really hard because it's, your glove side is causing all the pain. So. All right. Now, does he flex at the trunk? Yes. Not an issue. All right. Now, does he cross midline? So if he does, we're going to see his hand wrapped all the way around his body. <coughs> Yep, see his hand over there? Like he's giving himself a pat in the butt, like, good pitch, brother. That hey, boy. All right, so you do definitely cross midline. I'm surprised you don't have a little bit of impingement on your poster. All right, now, let's see if he rotates, keeps rotating around his front hip. How would we know that, Joe? If the uh, back leg <laughs> rotates around the front. Well, you remember that. <laughs> was I really clear on that one? No. Oh. Right. Stop. And does he? Yeah, we see Joe's best side. His hat goes flying. But we do see Joe's best side. So you definitely do. All right. So Joe, Dad, it's really simple.